And coming up next, it's a featherweight championship fight between Max Holloway and Brian Ortega. So here he is, they call him T-City, short for Triangle City, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega is a great fighter, a guy that has all the ability inside the octagon. He started as a Jiu-Jitsu practitioner, but you have seen the evolution of Brian Ortega as his career has continued to go on, has continued to proceed. Brian Ortega is getting better and better and better. He has now found himself staring across the octagon of some of the best fighters the division has ever seen, and he will continue to do that as long as he keeps developing the skills that are necessary. And sometimes it's hard to become a champion without having tasted defeat. A lot of people believe the Max Holloway fight for Ortega will be something he can build upon moving forward. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Ortega is one year his senior. Holloway is three inches taller. The reach is the same. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. It's who see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Brian T. City Ortega. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Plus Holloway. This is from UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. City figures to have some work to do to make the proper adjustments. Yes, he has to make the proper adjustments. He has to find a way 
to interrupt the rhythm of Max Holloway. When Max Holloway gets going, it's like an avalanche heading downhill, and you can never stop its momentum. He has to stop it right away at the beginning of this fight. Keep the pressure on him. You're doing great here. He blocks the punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, what a punch. All right, single collar tie now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Well, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And that relationship between Brian Ortega and James Wilson is as strong as a coach-fighter relationship as we have in MMA. Nice job in the boxing realm by Ortega here tonight. Oh! Whoa! Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Ortega gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Right hand upstairs. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That's a big strike right there. Just out of range with that right hook. Big kick land. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. What a right hand by this young man. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, DC, here we go, round two. How good is this? Max Holloway versus Brian Ortega. Just misses with the straight right. He landed a good uppercut there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination. That is how you scramble, folks. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh! And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Holloway. 51 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. And striking at a 40% clip tonight thus far against Brian Ortega. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Flush right hand is true. there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice. Whoa! Oh, it's over, it's over. Wow! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there is the UFC featherweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight. He had the pressure coming in, and he certainly rose above it here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Merkley out has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Blast Holloway. All right, so the UFC featherweight golden glory still goes through this man and after watching that knockout here tonight in defense of his title it's hard to envision one of these current featherweights giving him a true run for his money.